Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss an important topic how to properly prepare a sample for X-ray fluorescence analysis or XRF. Sample preparation is a crucial step in any analysis method because the accuracy of the result depends on the quality of the sample preparation. Incorrect sample preparation can lead to a completely inaccurate results. Sometimes preparing a sample for measurement can be more time-consuming, labor-intensive and expensive than the measurement itself. While XRF is relatively simple and doesn't require complex sample preparation, it shouldn't be neglected. Proper sample preparation is essential to achieve accurate and reliable results. Poorly prepared samples can introduce significant errors, making an analysis results un unreliable. For solid sample preparation, the main requirements are straightforward. The surface must be flat and clean to ensure accurate measurement. The first step is polishing the sample to obtain a smooth surface. For hard metals like iron and steel, use the grinding tool. For soft metals like copper and aluminum alloy, use a lathe or milling machine. You can skip this step if your sample already has a smooth, smooth surface. The second step is cleaning the sample surface with the metal file. It is critical to use a separate file for each type of sample to avoid cross-contamination. For example, on file for aluminum alloy and another for steel. If there is any doubt about the surface cleanliness, compare the measurement results before and after polishing. If they differ significantly, continue polishing until the difference is within the measurement error range. This ensures the surface is clean enough for accurate analysis. When preparing powder samples, there are several methods, including powder compaction, flux fusion, and direct measurement on finely grounded powder. The most simple and common method is direct measurement. The first step is preparing the sample cups and film for measurements. There are many types of films for XRF, so it's important to consult with the supplier to select the most suitable type for a specific task and device. The second step is grinding the sample. This is necessary to achieve a homogeneous mixture, so the result represents the characteristics of the entire sample, not just individual grains. The finer the grains, the better the result. The optimal grain size is less than 75 micrometers. The third step is filling the sample cup with the powder. Ensure there are no void between the grains on the measurement side and the powder forms are flat, even surface. If the surface is not smooth, it means the sample is not fine enough and requires further grinding. XRF allows for measurement of liquid sample directly, regardless of their state. Here is how to prepare liquid samples for XRF analysis. The first step is to prepare the sample cups. For liquids, you need to use open sample cups, which have film on only one side. This prevents the film from swelling due to evaporation of the liquid. The second step is selecting the correct film for analysis of liquid. Polypropylene film is used for acidic and alkaline solutions, while polyester film is used for petroleum products. It is important to check the film for impurities, as polyester film may contain contaminations that could interfere with the analysis. The third step is stretching the film tightly over the sample cup, ensuring it doesn't sag, and then powering the liquid into the cup. Once this is done, the sample is ready for measurement. In conclusion, proper sample preparation is essential for accurate XRF analysis. Here are the key points to remember. First, for solid samples, ensure the surface is flat and clean by polishing and cleaning as needed. Second, 
for powder samples, green the sample to achieve a homogeneous mixture and fill the sample cup evenly. Third, for liquid samples, use open sample cups and appropriate fill to avoid contaminations and swelling. Following these steps will help you achieve accurate and reliable results. By following these guidelines for sample preparation, you can achieve accurate and reliable results with your XRF analyzer. Thank you for watching. Don't miss our next reviews and interesting videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications of new videos. Also, don't forget to like this video so we know you enjoy it. Stay tuned and see you soon. Thank you.